Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Tech and Food Reviews. My name is Gary, and today we're gonna to be looking at the Ninja 12 Cup Pot Coffee Maker. All right, to start things off, we're gonna go diving right into the price. This right here retails for $99.99. $100 will get you this 12 cup pot coffee maker. Uh, you can pick those up pretty much anywhere um, that sells coffee makers, so like Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, wherever, any sort of big retail chains, they do sell this coffee maker. Okay, so this machine weighs in at seven pounds, so it's not too heavy at all. However, it is a kind of a tall machine. It measures at about 15 inches high. So if you are planning to put this like on top of your counter where your cabinets are in the kitchen, just keep in mind that when you open the lid too, it adds like additional five to six inches. So we're looking at like 20 inches tall in total. So if you don't have the counter space for this, like under your cabinets in your kitchen, you might need to measure it just to make sure. Yeah, it is a tall machine though. Okay, moving down the line of specs here, it is, as I mentioned, a 12 cup programmable coffee machine. Over on this side, this is the water reservoir. There are markings on the reservoir where you can fill up to each line. So it makes it pretty easy. Plus the water reservoir is removable from the machine. So it's easy to fill. You can just take it to your sink or to your water filter, wherever. The carafe here is glass. I'll take it out and see, you can see it's glass here. The bad thing about the carafe is that there's no markings on the cups. However, all the markings are on the water reservoir. Okay, as far as the look goes, it's a pretty nice look as you can see here. It's more of a modern look with the black and stainless steel. Uh, it is made mostly of plastic, but it's not like some cheap plastic. It actually feels pretty good. It feels very sturdy. The carafe, as I mentioned, is glass. I wish they had a stainless steel um, like insulated carafe instead of the glass, but uh, the glass works fine. Uh, over on the right here is the display pad as well as some of the features, which I will go over next. Okay, so just going down the line from the display side uh, and the programmed buttons on the right hand side of the machine. The top portion is gonna be the clock. This you can set pretty easily. Um, the hour button will change the hours, of course, and then the minute button will change the minutes. Okay, when you're setting the clock, make sure you set the AM and PM correctly as you can program this machine to do a 24 hour, up to 24 hour delay brew on this. What that means is that you can delay up to 24 hours of brewing, so when you set the time correctly, AM or PM, uh, you can brew this up to 24 hours in advance. So what you can do is have everything ready, put your coffee grounds in, put your water in, and then when you set a delay brew, you set a certain time that you want it to brew at. So for example, I can set this coffee maker ready to go the night before at like 8 p.m. I will set a timer on the delay brew setting for like a 7 a.m. brew so that when I get up in the morning, the coffee will already be brewed, ready to go, and I don't have to worry about filling it, filling the water, filling the coffee, or anything like that. So the coffee will be ready to go bright and early, right when I get up, and I don't have to worry about anything else. All right, just to show you guys how to do the delay brew. So hit the delay brew, so you see the clock's flashing, and then you're gonna set the time on when you wanna do it. When you're all set, hit the delay brew button again. The light should be on now. That means it's all set. So at 7 a.m., this coffee will start brewing. Anyways, that is how you do it. And then if you want to just cancel the delay brew, you just hit the delay brew again, and then the light will be off. The button next to the delay brew button is the stay warm button. So anytime you start a brew on this, the stay warm button will light up red. The heating plate on the bottom, which is how it keeps it warm and hot. When you, when it's red, it's on. So make sure you don't touch it when it's on because it will be hot. Whenever it's not brewing, the red light will stay on for up to two hours. 
Uh, so if you want it to stay warm longer than two hours, you just have to push the button again. You'll see it turn red and it will stay warm for another two hours. Moving down the line, the next button down there is the small batch button. And this one is for when you need to brew any coffee that's less than four cups. I really haven't used it that much. I usually brew a little bit more than four cups. It is an option. I don't really know what it does to be honest i've brewed stuff under four cups before it's just a matter of putting the right water in the reservoir so uh i don't really see much of a use for that uh maybe the fact that it's just a smaller load that it has to push through yeah i haven't really used it that much to be honest <sighs> but it's there if you guys need it if you guys only brew like one or two cups um definitely i would suggest just pushing that small pot button. Below that are the next two buttons which are the two different brew settings that you can do the classic and the rich. The classic one is more of a light roast so if you do have light roasted coffee I suggest you using um, the classic setting even medium roast. I, I mainly use the classic setting to be honest. The rich setting is more for the um, for the darker roast out there. It's if you want like a stronger coffee taste stronger brew depending on your preference. You can do the rich one with like medium roast as well. Um, it will brew it a little bit darker and a little bit more stronger. So just kind of keep that in mind. I've mainly used the classic one, to be honest. Uh, I haven't used the rich one all that much, but I have tried it before with the medium roast. It does have a stronger taste to it for sure. And on the bottom here are the brew, the power button, as well as the clean button. Once you have all the settings ready to go, you just hit that brew button and then it will start brewing the coffee. Below the brew button is the clean and power button. Uh, the clean button is used to clean the machine. So that's when you want to descale the machine or just do a quick clean on there. It does take about half an hour to do. Um, that's when you put like vinegar and water into the water reservoir and let it run through the system to clean everything in throughout. And then the power button is just to turn it on and off. Pretty self-explanatory with that one. All right, next we're gonna go over everything that's included with the machine, um, including the carafe itself, like I mentioned. It is a glass carafe with a lid. The lid here has a, they call it like a flavor straw. So what it does is actually flows in through the middle here and then it circulates the coffee itself. So it's not all just pushed into one spot. Um, also, like I mentioned, it does come with the water reservoir here. It does come off. So this is the lid and the reservoir itself, as you can see. Yeah, like I mentioned here too, on the front here, does show the different cups to fill up to the fill lines so all the way up to 12 cups. Also included is a spoon. So this is a measuring spoon for one cup. So each one of these is gonna be for your coffee grounds. Just fill it to the top and it's one cup. So however many cups you're gonna make, you're gonna fill it up that many times. Uh, also included inside the lid here is a basket for the filters. So this is a reusable, Filter, uh, all you have to do is just wash it after every use. And then when you're done with the grounds, you just empty it out and wash it. You can also use paper filters if you prefer that as well. If you tend to use a lighter roast for your coffees, as suggested by Ninja is to use the paper filters instead, but you can use this as well. I typically use paper filters myself, but if you want to limit your uses on paper, definitely use this here. So it's very useful. Uh, also included is the uh, top portion where the coffee comes out of. It's spring loaded on the bottom here. This is where the coffee brews after it's been brewing. This will come out and into the carafe. Yeah, that's everything that is included with the machine. As you can see, there's a lot of different things here, but they all work together. All right, next we're just gonna do a quick test and brew an actual cup of coffee here. Uh, I'm probably gonna brew, uh, typically I'd brew four cups of coffee. That's kind of my average, which is like two actual cups that I have. I have kind of large mugs, but I typically will do four cups. So what I will do is actually put four cups of water in the water reservoir and then put four cups of the coffee grounds into the filter.
Ready? Let's give it a taste. Oh, it's hot, but it's so good. Cheers, guys. Moving along to my final thoughts on the Ninja Coffee Maker. Um, it is a great machine. I love using this thing. Uh, if you tend to make a lot more than just one cup of coffee, it's very useful. If you've got a household with multiple people that drink coffee, it is super convenient to have a big pot of coffee for everybody to just grab and go. The Nespresso one is great too. I have both of them. I tend to use this one more often when I want to make more than just one cup. The Nespresso one I tend to use if I only just want one cup. Capsules themselves can be kind of expensive to keep buying them over and over again. They do make reusable ones that I have not yet tried. It's not directly from Nespresso, but I've seen some other market ones that um, will make reusable, like stainless steel ones that you can use to put in your own coffee. So some positives that I really like about the coffee machine is that the spoon I use a lot. Just the convenience of having a spoon that's perfectly measured to one cup of coffee grounds to one cup of water. So that is super useful. The reusable filter is also super handy that it comes with. If you don't want to use paper filters, this is definitely your best option here. Um, it's like a super thin layer of filter here. All you have to do is just put in the coffee grounds straight into this basket and you can brew it as is. Also a good thing is the removable water reservoir. All I have to do is just take the reservoir out and bring it to my sink and fill it up that way with the water or your water filtered. It's just super convenient to not have to fill like the carafe or bring the whole coffee machine to your sink and fill it up that way. Just having that built-in feature is it's just the convenient factor, so. Uh, a couple negative things, there's really not much negative to say about this machine. The only thing is that the carafe itself is glass. I kind of prefer a stainless steel insulated one myself, but it does have a heat plate, so it does keep it warm. That's just kind of a personal preference thing. Another con about this machine is that it's fairly tall. Like I mentioned, it's 15 inches high. So if you have like counters where there's cabinets, like I mentioned, that are too low, um, it can get in the way or it might not even fit under there. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's really not an issue for me here, but if you do have low, low hanging cabinets in your kitchen, it might not fit. You might have to put it on like a separate table or something like that. But as far as like brewing coffee, this thing is great. Uh, like I said, I enjoy using it a lot. It makes really good coffee too. Um, I haven't had any issues with it burning or anything like that. There's been a couple times where I brewed it a little bit stronger than I wanted, but uh, overall it's been very good. And having that extra pot coffee where I don't have to keep brewing more and more and more coffee, and just brewing it all at once is super handy. So like I mentioned, if you have a household that, that has a lot of people drinking coffee, it's definitely something to, it's definitely a positive to have a pot coffee for sure. Also, one thing that I do like about this is the look of it. It's a very modern look with the black and stainless steel look. It makes it very modern, classy a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's also built very well. It is plastic, like I mentioned before, but it seems like it's pretty high quality plastic. It feels very durable. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart or anything feels flimsy. Everything is pretty solid and it seems like it's gonna hold up very well. But yeah, overall, I highly recommend this coffee machine. Um, if you guys are looking to buy one or wanna pick one up yourself, you can definitely hit up your Target, Best Buy, Walmart. Uh, you can actually shop online too. With Black Friday coming up soon, there might be deals on it i really don't know to be honest but retail price is still going to be a hundred dollars on this i will leave links down below in the description to walmart amazon target best buy any other place that you can pick up one of these pretty much anywhere but i highly recommend this thing all right guys that's gonna be for this one thank you all for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button down below also if you guys enjoyed reviews like this and you want more make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as i will continue to make these review videos uh, also hit that notification bell as well so you get notified when my next video comes out. That's going to be for this one. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.